All right, hey everybody, it's Brad. And I'm Krista. With the Big Family Homestead. And I gotta start out this video by saying thank you. Um, so many of you reached out to us uh, with well wishes and prayers and uh, over our milk cow, Macy. And it was no fun. But you guys helped us uh, in a lot of ways. Yeah. And so, thank you. Um, she was taken care of respectfully. And um, we actually have a little bit of good news. We... We were able to find another milk cow that is not in milk currently, but we believe she is pregnant. Um, we're that's having, what we were told. That's what we're told. Um, but... Um, we'll find out Monday. Yeah. Well, we, are, we, we discuss what breed she is in another section of video. Of this video. Yes, of this video. This so video. You'll find out more in a few minutes. So, hang tight. You'll know soon. Yeah. But Monday, we've got a veterinarian coming out yep. to preg check the yep. new cow, which we're going to need your help naming because while the family we got this cow from, they, they're super nice people, mm -hmm. super nice people, and their kids are great. Oh, yeah, the kids are awesome. Um, and you'll see a little bit of how this all went. This video is going to be a mishmash of a lot of stuff that's happened in the past four days. Yeah, it's been a kind of a crazy four days, I think. I agree. Crazy four days. So this video might be a little bit long, yeah. but there's going to be a lot of information in here and a lot of stuff that's going on. Um, oh, but we'll need your help naming the the cow because, well, you'll see the cow, the name doesn't really fit the cow. Really match the cow. They, the, they had named the cow Ginger, mm -hmm. which isn't a bad cow name. No, not a bad cow It just doesn't really name. match the cow. No. You'll see why. So, um, that said, oh my gosh, something silly funny happened mm -hmm. today. Yep. But yeah, I'm going to tell you about it later in the video. So, here we go. Holy mackerel. <laughs> Make sure to get her underneathlings. Underneathlings? Underneathlings? It's springtime again. Holy, wow. <laughs> Nana. This We're going to have to do this like oh, every day it's for all over a me. week. You're shedding like crazy, like a beast. But what we're doing is we're helping the birds and the rabbits because they'll pick up all this hair and go make their nests with it. And we're helping her so she's not so warm. And and we're helping us so that it's not all in the house. Well, <laughs> yeah, but it's all over my face now. You should make a dog fur coat. <laughs> dog fur coat. Dog fur coat. I, I, I challenge you with that, Claire. We'll call you Esau. <laughs> Hi. Nana. Say please, Claire, make her stop. Let go. This part right here is the worst. Her haunches. Yes, it just gives so Look much hair. Well, better in or outside than inside, I, I suppose. I will say thank you again to the subscriber that sent us these brushes. They are awesome. This is an undercoat rake. I love it. Ugh. Nana. Don't love the hair. Is disapproving. <laughs> oh, doggy, what are they doing to you? It's snowing. It's snowing hair. Nana hair. So this is going on this morning. <laughs> Come on, girly. We got a pig out. I'm not sure if she's the only one out yet. No. She's the only one I see. <clears throat> Come here, girl. We'll take you back to your friends. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Hurry up, Caleb. Reefy, back up. You're okay. Have him give me the bucket. No, back Come up, here. just back up, back She's up. She's fine. Come here. Come here, girly. Come here, Caleb. Come on. Here, Claire. Here. Come on. You're picky. Here. Show her the bucket. She yeah. should follow. Come on, baby. Yep. Train him with a bucket. And they'll always follow. Come on, baby. Now we just gotta figure out how she got out. I feel like there's something. Yep. Keep going. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Okay. Let's like get this one, get inside. Oh, one of the little piggies. Come here, buddy. 
Come here. Come on. I don't know if he's gonna be able to get. Okay, no, it's okay. You, Caleb, you and him, you and Hope or Ruth, push him that way. There we go. Good boy. <laughs> yeah, it's, it was the door. The door wasn't locked. It was my fault. Now, who was the one that did that? No, it was locked. It just, I tried to jimmy rig it because I could tell it was starting to be loose. Right. So. It's fine. We'll, we'll get it fixed. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so I promised to tell you something that happened that was silly funny today. One of our subscribers who's a friend of the channel, he texted me this morning and um, sent me into a panic because he said, hey, don't forget to tell Krista happy Mother's Day. And I was like, I got it wrong. Holy smokes. Because I'm not good with dates. I've never been good with dates. So I, I panic. I'm like, oh my gosh, I got the date wrong. And so I, I'm grabbing the kids. I went and woke them up. <laughs> I woke up the kids and um, I'm like, we got to make breakfast. Too. And they were really quiet too because I was still sleeping. Usually I could hear their gung, 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 gung all down the stairs. But So we let mom sleep yeah. and... I got the kids up and, and I'm like, okay, Ruth, you make toast, I'll do this, Hope make tea, and we were washing dishes and cleaning everything so it wouldn't be a problem for mom. And then I'm like, okay, Grace, start making cards. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get this together. And then Claire got up and it was her day to do the chores for the animals. Well, Claire and I go out in the mornings. Generally. To, to, to generally to do the chores for, in the morning. And she had already gone out and done them. She got up thinking the same thing. Yeah, yeah. And so we're all ready to go and mama's coming down the stairs. We're like, happy Mother's Day. And she starts she laughing. She laughing, yeah. They start laughing. That's next Sunday. I was like, what? <laughs> so my buddy Tim. Nobody checks the calendar apparently. <laughs> I checked the calendar then. So mama gets two Mother's Days Yay. this year. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you, dear. Hello, baby. Hello. What you doing? I am starting to package up orders. Oh, this the is, hand this cream? Is, yes, this is Kathy's order. Um, and I'm just getting it packaged up and getting ready, uh, getting everything ready to go. Thank what you. did uh, Kathy get? She ordered, oh, yeah, I'll show you. She ordered the Healing hands. Healing hands. Yes. That stuff is awesome. I love this stuff. We make it with Moringa. Yep. Um, but yes, I just wanted to say thank you to all of you who did place orders today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We will be getting those out May 7th. Look at all that. That's all going to be boxed yeah. up within a day or so. It'll take me a little while. <laughs> well, that's, yeah. I'm going to help, of course. Of course, yes. But yeah, so very little left, mm -hmm. but that's good. Yes. So thank you, thank you, thank you, you, guys. Thank, you thank, thank you, thank you. They're pretty. Yeah, okay, so here's the deal. Um, as you guys know, we lost our cow, Macy, our milk cow, and um, that was kind of rough, yes. but we are having to move on because uh, our daughter Grace needs the, the, the fresh raw milk yep. to help her stay healthy. Yep. So, we found a uh, a cow on online that we're going to see, and unbelievably, unbelievably, it's actually got a calf. It's it's uh, it's pregnant. Yep, she's pregnant. Um, did you want me to tell the breed of the cow? Well, no. Okay. Well, no, yeah, we should tell the breed of the cow because we've decided. We'll go ahead and tell the breed. Okay. So it is a Dexter cow. Um, we have had a Dexter before and really loved the size. Um, very easy to manage. Um, easy to milk. Easy to milk. Um, you know, a Jersey cow is a fantastic homestead cow. Um, but I don't... It. We always had too much milk. We always have had too much milk. Even with Grace, that being her main part of her diet, it's still too much for for everybody even making cheese and even making and yogurt butter and yogurt and so we really love them the um 
the size of the Dexter cows and the amount of milk that they give. So um, and it's nice and creamy too. And it is nice and creamy too. The the milk, the butter fat is very similar to a Jersey. Um, this Dexter cow is an A2 A2, which that is the genetics of it. It helps for easy digestion of the milk. She has been bred with an A2 A2 Jersey. So this is this is a perfect solution perfect fit for our family if if it works out if it works out if she's a healthy cow um and she's tolerant you know the the family that we're we're buying her from um they have said that her five six and seven year old kids have milked her milked this cow right so we'll see how this goes well and again she's with calf she is with calf macy was with calf that was a p That's part a of a thing. big plan that we wanted to do right. moving forward right right so um this cat particular cow is not due until july so but That's everything good. works out this could be this could be an answer back on the back on the tracks yes. so well here we go hi guys aren't you just the handsome young lad no we'll talk about it later i guess he's giving me the business end this could be trouble uh-oh. What'd you do? I didn't do anything. I just standing here. You gave him the stink eye, didn't you? No, I did not. All right, let's see if we can try again. You look inquisitive. Hi. You see that? You gave him the nudge. Get moving, pal. See the look? You can't get him to buy it from your flock. There we go. They're being a little bit anxious today. Hi, hi. Oh, almost. Hey, Krista, you may not want to try to tackle the running I cow. That's why I backed away. Just a suggestion, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh! I think we need some country music playing. That'll help. Oh, 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 got him, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Look at that out there. Oh, no. See, that's what happens when I go fishing. Yeah. <laughs> that's why they call it fishing instead of catching when I'm going. Dang, that thing's strong. That was, that was, that was pretty amazing. I think John's just going to pick her up and carry her over there. Bear hug her. No? No. No. Here, Hope. Would you hold this? Here, Caleb, give me gloves. Lovely, me lovely. Would you hold it? Yeah. Please. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Hold on. The wild beast. Okay. Oh, there we go. You're okay. Ruth, back up. All right. Slowly. Right. Come on out. Come on out. Come on, girl. There we go. Hi. Stop running around. You're scaring the cow. Hi, 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 hi. Hi. We're good. Yeah. She's practically just a big cow, cow dog, like a dog. What do you think? Come on. What do you think, huh? Not too shabby, cow. You've got quite the layer here. This is just a temporary abode. Once you get used to it, we'll graduate you out there and then on to bigger and better pads. Look at all this kind of hate. Yeah. All right. What do you think, Hope? She's adorable. She is adorable. So if you had to pick a name right now for this cow right here, hello cow, what name would you select? Betty. Betty? Yeah. She looks like a Betty to you, huh? Yes. Yeah. All right. What are you doing? Oh, well I, I'm making cucumber and onion salad from our cookbook. This is from the original. No, this is from the, the, the second, second one? cookbook, yes. Second one. Mm -hmm. And um, this is one of the recipes that my mom used to make, and I believe it's an old German recipe. I'm not sure. I don't think so. I, I bet don't. everybody claims it, mm -hmm. every nationality. Mm -hmm. But it's just delightful. It's You got cucumbers and onions. There's a little bit of sweet and there's a, just a little bit of tang with the vinegar. It's a light summer thing and 
Doggone it, it's 70 degrees outside. It's We're gonna roast hot dogs later. It's gonna be summer here soon. And we need some cucumbers and onions. <laughs> so, as always, tons going on. You hear that sound? You hear that sound? That's the sound of a fan. That's the sound of a fan drying soap. For those of you who have ordered Mama's goat milk soap, mm -hmm. it's drying right now. Yep. We'll be ready to ship next week. Yep. I think there's a little bit left, no, but not a lot. This week. Not next week. This week. Yeah, this week. <laughs> there's a little bit left on the on the store, but not a lot. Not a lot, yeah. And um, let's see what else. Uh, oh, you'll see in a future video, the pigs got out today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, always an adventure. Who let the pigs out? Who, who, who? Claire, Claire did. I know. Was, <laughs> spoiler alert, Claire did it. Claire did it. No, it was just an accident. No big deal. Well, you can see the mayhem, the mm -hmm. pig riding. Yeah, pig riding. Pig riding. So anyway, that's it for the video today. Um... Not happy about Macy, but obviously God has provided a new cow. Yeah. So, got to come up with a name for it because I'm not sure Ginger is a good name. Yeah, not for real. An all well, black cow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, suggestions down below. I think that's it. I'm Brad. I'm Krista. You guys have an amazing and blessed day. <laughs>